Hey guys, it's Sasha, and today I'm here to do the Goodreads tag, but I was tagged by no one, so there's that. I don't have a phone with me because my phone's dead, so I'm just gonna be reading it off my computer right here. Question number one. What was the last book you marked as read? The Scorpio Trials by Maggie Stellavater, and I have a book review on that. I will leave that in the description down below. Question two. What are you currently reading? I am currently reading um, 10 books. Most of them are school books. Two or three. Technically it should be three, but I didn't mark the other one off on Goodreads yet because I've been lazy. But I'm reading three books for pleasure right now. I'm gonna tell you my school books and I'll tell you the pleasure books. So the first of my school books is My Antonia by Willa Ketchard. This is for the lit part of my schoolwork. Because I'm homeschooled, I do a whole bunch of different curriculum. One of my curriculum is very literature based, so basically all I do is just read a lot of books and that. This is also, I think this is for English or something, I don't know, but it's on Writing Well um, by William Wessner. Next is 100 Best Love Poems by Various Poets. The Elements of Style by William Strong Jr. and E.B. White. The Complete Idiot's Guide to U.S. Government and Politics by Franco Scardino. This is for my American government course. And also what comes with that is Basic American Government by Clarence B. Carson. For the Bible part of my course right now I'm reading Truth and Transformation, a Manifesto for Alienation by Vijal Mangalwadi. And then the last book is How to Read a Book by Mortar <laughs> J. Adler and Charles Van Dorn. Isn't this title just so fun? And the books I'm reading for pleasure because I wanted to is um, Defeating Darwinism by Opening Minds by Philip E. Johnson. I've only read like the first chapter for this. I saw this on my dad's shelf and I was like, the title sounds interesting, so let me pick it up and see how it is. The next book is The Fellowship of the Ring, and as you can see here, I've been I've been using tissue to mark my place. But I'm almost done with it. I've only got less I've got less than 100 pages to go. I was supposed to have this finished by the 16th because uh, I'm holding a read-along and I'm failing at that because it's so long it's hard for me to focus on actually reading the book especially since I have all the other books I'm reading too so I swear I get distracted and then the last and final book is The White Princess yes the White Princess by Philippa Gregor Gregor yes I pronounced that correctly but yes um I picked that up because uh, I haven't read any of her books and I was sitting on my shelf and I was like, hey, let me read it, let me see how it is. Currently right now, mixed feelings, I might do a review on it, I'm not quite sure. Question number three, what is the last book you marked as TBR or to be read? Currently the, rest, the last book in my Goodreads TBR I marked is The Jungle Book by um, Rudar Kipling. Number four is what book do you plan to read next? I am not sure. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do after I read The White Queen. I'm hoping that Winter by Marissa Myers will get to my house by then. It's supposed to be here. It wasn't supposed to be here. It's supposed to be to the US mailing shipping place and then it's going to get forwarded to the Bahamas. So hopefully that should come and I'll read that next. Number five, do you use a star rating system? Yes! Uh, number six, are you doing a 2016 reading challenge? Goodbye. Bye, Sashi's friends. <laughs> um, yes, I am. Currently, I said in my reading goal that I was going to have it set at 150 books, but I changed that to 170 books. Number seven, do you have a wish list? Yes, I have a wish list on, I have like Amazon ones, because I've been doing that since I was little, like, where I just mark all the books that are interesting to me. I'm gonna check them out, and I do have, I started one on like Goodreads, you know how you like just mark it want to read, but I like need to go through that and like, make it more organized, because right now it's just like, oh, I've heard a lot about that, but click, click, and I don't like being so chaotic like that. Number eight, what book do you plan to buy next? Because of where I live, sometimes buying books, it's 
like limiting to what you can get so I'm not sure when I will be buying books next usually I wait until I go over to the US and then I buy a lot of books and bring it back but you know occasionally if I pass by like one of the bookshops here I'll be like mom please 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 just buy me one book so I don't know I haven't I not, haven't really planned that far into the future yet number nine do you have any favorite quotes and would you like to share a few yes the only quote I bother to ever sort of remember is by L.M. Montgomery and it is I am a book drunkard books are for me as wine is for its devotee or something like that. I'm gonna go look that up. <laughs> okay, yes, 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 here it is. It's, I am simply a book drunkard. Books have the same irresistible temptation for me that liquor has for its devotee. I cannot withstand them. And that, by far, is my favorite quote that I've ever heard. Number 10 is who are your favorite authors? Pose how many of their books. I have to be a reflection of that. So I'm gonna go with Bodhi and Barak Taney being as my favorite Christian fiction authors because I have most of their works. I love L.M. Montgomery. I have a whole bunch of her works. I'm trying to collect them. Oh, I just the tripod. I'm just, I'm trying to collect them all. I like C.S. Lewis. I've only read his Chronicles of Narnia. I have his Space Trilogy, but I really like him. Um, to be honest, I don't like... I don't have like a list of favorite authors, it's not really something I think about. If I like your book, I like it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. But like, yeah, usually if I like your book, I'll continue to buy from you. Number 11, have you joined any groups? Yes, I've joined the Bible. Uh, anyway, basically it's the one group that they have where you read the Bible in a year. It's a uh, Anyway, it's here on YouTube and I joined it even though I'm not doing with them. I just want to see their discussions and whatnot. I also am joined with Tuesday Talks people because I am going to start up Tuesday Talks in February. I, I'm also in the Whimsical Wanderers and it was created by Giggle Miggles. She's on YouTube and I'll leave a link to her channel down below and also it was created by someone else who I don't currently remember at the moment but yeah. And the last and final question is, is there any question you would like to Add. At this time, no, because I'm currently quickly filming this because I have to go make some lasagna and get ready to go to track practice. So I haven't really got any questions in my mind. I would like to tag some people. The people I'm tagging are Jade from Boho Bookworm, Emily from Love Pages and in Ink. Not sure if she's done this already. Sophia from the Questionable, questionable Hufflepuff. Val from Valo Valent. Lady from Freeform Lady and Nikki from Giggle Miggles. And I'm also tagging you. If you're watching this video and you want to do this, go ahead and say I tagged you. And that is all for now. I hope this video does not turn out too long. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.